Hello everyone, my name is Amaran and welcome back to Elite Clockman. Turns out there's a secret, uh, not secret, sorry, special episode. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Elite Clockman here. Yay! Dom Studios just released a new special episode of Skibidi Multiverse. Special episode 2 to be precise. And let me just say, dear mm -hmm. god, this episode is indeed very special as it focuses on Titan Drillman from his defeat in episode 14 until now. Uh -huh. Turns out our red giant has his own badass Jiminy Cricket. The what? newly introduced Chief Drillman, a man of focus that saved the Alliance from many disasters from under the table. Or in this okay. case, from inside Titan Drillman. It also looks like Titan Drillman, aka Steve, has a secret form that is His so dangerous is that it is kept secret to this day. But before we get to all that, please make sure to like and subscribe if you became a fan of Chief Drillman at the end of the video. After the newly regular disclaimer, today's special episode starts off from episode 14. Our journey starts off with the end of the fight between the scientist and Titan, the mini drill man, as we see the Titan's mm -hmm. core turning into a rocket ship and evacuating the main body. After successfully getting away, we see the ship core landing in front of the late Chief Clockman. Me and the other clocks really miss you, Daddy. What? Anyways, after arriving at the scene, something rather unexpected happened. The supposed core opened like something or someone was inside the Titan this whole time. We then see a new drill man descending from the core, judging by how his expensive his outfit must be. And the golden drill he uses as a face, it is clear that our new mystery guy is someone rather important in the drill men hierarchy. Looks cool That's though. That's not all. You see, the most shocking part about Bro is the fact that he can use human language, which makes him the third member of the Alliance capable of speech, next to the future large clockman and the giant pencil bot, also known as White Megatron, or Skibidi Pencil Man for friends. Bro. And with that, each of the races that belong to Dom Studios each have a talking member to represent them. We can imagine more talking members of the Alliance in the future, but it is highly unlikely as the other races belongs to the creator of the original series Da Fuck Boom. And if you watched Skibidi Multiverse from the start, you would have noticed by now that Dom Studios respects Mr. Boom as he never created a cameraman, a speaker man, or mm -hmm. even a cameraman, modify some details at most. So it is highly unlikely for me or my brother to get a cut TV woman waifu with Daddy Zoro's voice. What? Anyways, after getting out of the core, oh, the new guy thanked you. I said they are always like simping for a character, okay? Be like me. Don't simp for people, okay? That's how people use you and abuse you. He clockmen as they were able to avoid a painful death thanks to the clocks. He then told him that they need a new Titan body for someone called Steve. Chief Clockman was confused. Who is this Steve, he asked. But it turns out that Steve was in fact the spirit of the soon-to-be-big and scary Titan Drillman. Bro is the equivalent of that one bulldog called Princess. Bro. We then see Chief Clockman getting suddenly sad as both of them discuss their losses. How they can't go all out anymore and how they have to mostly rely on the cameraman and the speaker man and not the TV men. As just like in the original series, they are focusing on protecting themselves first. And we have yet to see a dead TV man. Which is why the drill men mentioned the two races without the third ally. And not because of some secret beef between the Alliance. Because the TV race is an important asset to the Alliance. After my new baby daddy finished talking, we enter a fast Whoa. forward time skip. From the looks of it and the presence of drill men only, I assume that we are in the drill base. You can see the body of the upgraded Titan drill men. Oh sorry, Steve getting his final touches. The body is still headless, but the exoskeleton seems complete. We then see the golden boy carefully holding a glass container with some kind of red spark inside. If you rewind a little bit, you can see the same container in the core ship. We can only assume that this is the real soul of Titan Drillman. But the likely fact that yeah, all the probably. Titans and maybe all the members of the Alliance are just sparks in bottles is what the swaggy Drillman asked the scientists. He was talking about a true form transformation. Wait a damn minute. Does that mean that little Steve never went all out in a fight? So what I understand is that this form is so unusual, powerful and important that it was kept secret all that time. A form so crazy that they didn't even bother to use it on the Counter Titan. Huh. As you may know, Titan Drillman and the Counter Titan clashed off screen. It is unconfirmed, but we once saw the Counter Titan using drills similar to those of Steve against Titan TV Man. And since he can only copy his opponents, we can assume that both of them fought in the past. So, A, 
They were scared of him copying the true form powers. Or B Counter Titan wasn't much of a threat to see that form. Nice. Either way, this means that we have yet to see the full potential of Titan Drillman. Anyways, after that, we see today's MC entering the core of the Titan. As a giant magnet picked the Looks core cool, up to though. put in the chest of the Titan, not his head. Right before placing Steve's head on his shoulder. We then hear the guy say, All right, let's drill some toilets. But here, listen to it without any interruption. And if you compare the new core to the old one, you can see how much this one surpasses the old one. As this one looks like a light version of the Death Star. And hmm. the other one was made with giant belts and a rocket. Anyways, after that we enter another time skip. We are now between episode 23 and episode 24. Right before the drill carnage. Where we see the golden drill man arguing with Daddy Chief. I mean Daddy Clockman. You know who I mean, ha ha ha, about a message. Bro. We then see Titan cameraman and Titan what speaker man weird? who were with little Steve and the big man inside of him at the time. Confused because they lost radio signal. But then the man inside understood it all. Within just a second he was able to predict the plan of the toilets. We then see him freak out at what he found. And orders Titan Drillman to go back to base to defend it from the huge wave coming their way. But sadly Steve didn't make it in time. Or rather, they weren't fast enough. As in the next scene, we find ourselves in front of the destroyed drill base with dead bodies left and right. You can see the difference in behavior here as the Titan was about to lose it. The man inside was trying to keep it together and grieve in silence. Titan cameraman then arrived at the scene and at the site tried to help Steve. But then we see Steve slowly losing his cool after what Alpha told him while his Jiminy tried to talk some sense into him. Oh, but one no. second later, we see him slapping the blue Titan before throwing us once again in a time skip. In the next scene, we are in episode 25, the fight between Titan TV Man and Steve. We see Steve asking the man in charge to unleash his true form to which he denies him access because it is way too powerful to use against an ally. The big man Alo told the Titan that this time he won't help him when it comes to strategy. For the first time in his life, Steve was actually fighting alone. In the next scene, we see the new Sigma contacting Titan TV man telling him not to go all out because the red Titan means no harm, he is just angry. In other words, that man saved the Alliance by turning a deadly Titan fight into a spectacular child's play. Nice. We then skip to the end of the fight with the defeat of Titan Drillman. You can hear the inside Drillman telling the other Titan that Steve will be fine. In the next scene, we see the toilets no. heading this way. The toilets After are coming. The types of toilet and their numbers. The golden drill man told the purple mm -hmm. titan that he can leave oh. and go back to the mission as they weren't a match for the red titan. The tone of the man's voice changed when Titan TV man left. It was now angry as it tells Steve that those are the real reason his family was massacred. After that, we skip to the part where we find that drill woman is alive but as a hostage. Titan Drillman was about to break the cage to save her, but the other Drillman stopped him as the cage was booby-trapped with dynamite. One false step, and Drill Woman goes kaboom. The Drill Duo had no other choice but to cooperate with Toilet. Damn, I forgot about this situation. I, I don't remember there being so many bombs, actually. Is that biohazard? I, I don't think they understand what's, uh, what the different types of symbols mean and destroy the clock base but here's where it starts to get really interesting in the next scene we see the inside man calling the clock base as soon as the connection was made we see uh -huh. everyone in the room with chief clockman lowering their heads in respect it's their way of telling him they're sorry for his losses you can see the clock chief taking off his hat as a sign of respect but the mood in the room changed when the drill man told them that it wasn't important now everyone seemed shocked for him to say that it means that something is coming their way. Something crazily big. And it wasn't just big, but a colossal red titan. The drill man updated them on the situation and told them to evacuate the base as soon as possible while he tries to make Steve go slower. In other words, the Alliance would have been cooked 10 episodes ago if he didn't warn them about that. Also notice how Bro kept a cool head right after losing his fam. But this isn't even close to the most badass feat of this video. Because the next scene takes us to Skibidi Base 1 with the G-Man soldiers putting Drill Woman behind the bars. We also see the doctor toilet from the Skibidi squad noticing her walkie-talkie and entering the cage to take it from her. 
Mommy uh -oh. Drill Woman was ready to fight despite the uh -oh. odds, but the angry menace told her to put him on speaker and said the most daring thing to the smartest man in the Skibidi race. Chill. He straight up told him that if he dares to lay a finger on the talkie, Walkie Titan Drill Man would obliterate the base. Bro is so cold that he cornered the enemy with just a threat and a few words. If that ain't badass, I don't know what is. But we also got the character's name finally. Turns out that this guy is no other than the Chief Drill Man. In other words, this huh. guy is on the level of Clock Chief, and that opens a new perspective. Dang. He probably is one of the best uh, chiefs, I guess. If you think about it. Because he sacrificed the most. Right? I know. That, that's what I feel like, but... Yeah, I'm not really too sure. I, I think he and Steve sacrificed the most, so he's probably the best chief. But he's also very smart. He's cool. I know. Perspective ...about all of this episode. The fact that Chief Drillman is guiding the Titan on the front lines is casually overpowered and also extremely dangerous. The drill race can lose her leader and the titan at the same time at any moment a dangerous gamble. But at this point, what's there to lose for them? In the next scene, we see the drill duo looking at the Skibidi base with the big man telling Steve that the drillman's sacrifice won't be in vain. You can see the determination in their drilly eyes. They don't also have eyes. Notice how the adult chief and the childlike titan complete each other. An interesting dynamic indeed. We then skip to the final couple episodes when the special agents inform the chief drillman that they are in position to save Oh yeah, they, they were like waving. With that, those two were ready to join the fight. And trust me, the toilets will beg for the sweet rest of death and will never find it. Anyways, the Red Steve came out of the ground and let out a loud roar. The chief looks annoyed and asked him if the roar was really necessary. And I kind of understand it, thought, if I was inside Titan Drillman for 20 episodes straight and had to hear every single roar. I would destroy the Titan from the inside, just like I want Assassin Drillman to destroy me at any way. What? As soon as Steve wave a Titan cameraman and the upgraded I'm Titan speakerman. Right? But to their surprise, Titan speakerman charged at them. The Chief Drillman had enough with this. He had to stop one Titan fight. He really can't waste time on stopping another one. And with a quick reflex, the Chief told Steve to stop fighting and sent a message to Titan cameraman that they are now cool. At first, we all thought that it was the headquarters that sent the message, but no, it was huh. him, Daddy Drillman. And with Titan Speakerman iconic rage yeah. scream, the episode ended. The new guy sure is interesting, as Steve can't go all out without him. My friends, we have reached the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you. I'm not gonna let him finish his sentence. And have a great day, everyone. Pay attention for the new episodes, cause crap is about to go down. Like. I feel like maybe one of us would die.